Hi boys and girls, today we are making Yaakov and Esav cookies in honor of Parshas Toldos. Here are the supplies that we'll need. A mixing bowl, a wooden spoon and whisk, measuring cups, measuring spoons, a rolling pin, a small person cookie cutter, a parchment paper lined baking sheet, and a few small bowls. For the ingredients we'll need two eggs, sugar, oil, vanilla extract, baking powder, flour, cocoa powder, and lastly, red food coloring. Preheat the oven to 350. If need be, ask an adult to help you. Now let's begin making the dough. Crack the first egg into a clear bowl so that you'll be able to check to make sure that there are no blood spots. Pour it into the bowl. Then do the same with the second egg. Use the whisk to whip up those eggs super well. Next, measure 3 quarters of a cup sugar and dump it into the bowl. One way to do this is to use a quarter cup and measure it three times. Again, use the whisk to mix. Next, measure a quarter of a cup of oil and pour it into the bowl. Measure out one teaspoon of vanilla extract plus one teaspoon of baking powder and pour each of them in the only place we're pouring things. You're right, the bowl. Then we'll use our handy dandy friend the whisk to mix it all up. Now it's time to add the flour. We need two and a half cups of the stuff. Start by adding just two cups so you can see how much more it really needs. Begin by mixing with the wooden spoon. Once it becomes too hard to mix like this, use your hands, but make sure you wash them or put on disposable gloves. Keep mixing until the dough begins to come together. If it seems too sticky, add more flour. Add just a little at a time because you can always add more, but you can't take it out once it's in. While we're mixing, let's talk about a lesson we can learn from Yaakov and Esav. In this Parsha, we learn about how both of them honored their parents. When Yitzchak asked Esav to prepare food for him, Esav did as his father asked. When Rivka told Yaakov to bring food to his father, Yaakov did what his mother asked. Back to baking. Next, we'll divide the dough into four pieces, so be sure to have four small bowls prepared, one for each piece. We'll make one piece turn brown by adding one teaspoon of cocoa powder, one piece turn red by adding a few drops of red food coloring, and the remaining two will be left as they are. Mix the cocoa into the first piece until the whole thing becomes brown and chocolatey. Next, mix the red food coloring into the second piece. This part is extra fun. We get to mix some colors and roll out the dough. We will make our Yaakov cookie first. Take a piece of the regular dough and of the brown dough, roll each piece long and thin, then twist the two pieces and smush them until the colors mix a bit. Now, on a clean surface, roll out the ball of dough about a quarter of an inch thick. Not too thick and not too thin. If you see the cookie dough is still a bit sticky, just add a sprinkling of flour. Back to our lesson. There are two very important people in our lives who work very hard for us. Do you know who they are? That's right, it's our parents. They put an effort every day to provide us with food, clothing, and everything else we need. Even if we may not see how our parents work so hard to help us, we can remember, just like Yaakov and Ace have showed, they deserve our honor and respect. Now back to our cookies. Once it's rolled out to the desired thickness, use the person cookie cutter to make a brown and white marbled Yako figure. Remove the extra dough from around the cookie cutter. Lift the cookie carefully and place it on your prepared baking sheet. Repeat this process with the rest of the brown and white dough to make as many Yakov cookies as you have dough for. Next, we will make the Ace of Cookies by repeating the same step we just used for Yakov cookies, except this time with red and white dough. Mix the red and white dough quite a bit until you see it starts to look marbled. Lay it on a clean surface. Flatten the marble ball. Roll it as we did with the Yaakov cookies. Use the person cookie cutter again to make a red and white marbled Asa figure. Once all your Yaakov and Asa cookies are formed, you may choose to place two chocolate chips on each cookie as eyes and a few chocolate chips on the top of each Yaakov cookie as a yamuka. This is optional. Once the cookies are ready to be baked, ask an adult to help you put the baking tray in the preheated oven. Bake the cookies for 8-9 to nine minutes or until the edges begin to turn golden brown. Once they are out of the oven and cooled off, you can enjoy your Yaakov and Asaf cookies. Be sure to make a bracha and come check in next week for our Parsha Studio.